In the vast expanse of the cosmos, before galaxies formed and stars ignited, there existed an ancient deity known as Scooby-Doo. Older than the universe itself, Scooby-Doo yearned for companionship amidst the darkness of the void, and with the mere thought, he conjured forth the realm of infinite possibility, shaping reality with his divine will. Within this newly formed universe, Scooby-Doo encountered his first companions, Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Shaggy. Together, they formed an inseparable team, dedicated to unraveling the mysteries that plagued the world. For eons, Scooby-Doo and his friends roamed the landscapes of their fabricated reality, solving mysteries with unmatched camaraderie and joy. Each puzzle they solved brought them closer together, forging an unbreakable bond that transcended time and space. But as the ages passed, Scooby's longing for perfection grew insatiable. Despite the wonders of his creation, he couldn't shake the feeling that something, something was missing, that elusive spark of perfection that eluded even the grasp of an ancient god. Driven by an unrelenting desire to capture the essence of their initial encounters, Scooby enacted a ritual of recreation, resetting the fabric of reality each each time it fell short of his idealized version, with each iteration, Scooby meticulously crafted a new universe, hoping to recapture the magic of their first mysteries. Yet, with each reset, the world heavied under the weight of his manipulation. Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Shaggy became mere shadows of their former selves, their essence twisted and distorted by Scooby's relentless pursuit of perfection. As the cycles repeated endlessly, Scooby watched in despair as his friends became mere pawns in his cosmic game. The joy of their first meeting faded into oblivion, replaced by an endless cycle of discovery and death. This revelation came to Fred, Daphne, Velma, and Shaggy like a bolt from the blue, shattering the illusions they held dear. I, I can't believe it, Velma exclaimed, her voice trembling with disbelief. Scooby, he's, he's not just a dog, he's, he's something more. Something ancient. Why, why can he talk? Daphne's eyes widened in realization. Y you mean Scooby's some kind of deity? Fred nodded solemnly, his mind racing to comprehend the enormity of their discovery. It all, it all makes sense now. The way he always seemed to know what to do, the way he led us to every mystery. Scooby isn't just our friend. He's our creator. The creator. Shaggy's eyes darted around nervously, his mind struggling to process the revelation. Like you mean to say that Scooby made us like out of nothing? The truth hung heavy in the air, casting a pall over their once carefree existence. Yet amidst the chaos of their shattered reality, Scooby remained silent, his gaze filled with the sadness that transcended words. I'm sorry, my friends, Scooby-Doo whispered, his voice trembling with sorrow. But I cannot let you leave. And with that, Scooby unleashed the full extent of his divine power, casting his companions into the void and erasing their existence from the annals of time. One by one, each and every time they found out, Scooby murdered them, his friends, his family, the people he had grown to love, blood, guts, death. It was an endless cycle. This act of betrayal weighed heavily on Scooby's consciousness, plunging him into a bottomless pit of despair. Yet even in his darkest hour, he could not bear to be alone. Driven by an unsatiable longing for companionship, Scooby embarked on a quest to recreate the world he had lost, to rebuild his paradise from the ashes of his own creation. With each iteration, Scooby poured his heart and soul into creating a new reality, hoping to recapture the magic of their first encounter. Yet, with each reset, the world grew darker, twisted by the echoes of his own suffering. Fred, once the embodiment of courage, became consumed by paranoia and mistrust. Daphne's radiant spirit dimmed, overshadowed by a sense of longing for a past she could not remember. Velma's sharp intellect waned, lost amidst the labyrinth of forgotten memories, and Shaggy, with his infectious laughter silenced forever, descended into madness, haunted by the specters of his past selves. And through it all, Scooby watched helplessly as his friend slid further into the abyss of his creation. With each failed attempt, his anguish grew. A gnawing emptiness that threatened to consume him whole. Yet, despite the pain it caused him, Scooby-Doo could not break free from the cycle. He was bound by the chains of his own creation. He had grown to love these mortals, even an all-knowing god like himself. He had been condemned to relive his curse for all eternity. And so in the depths of the cosmos, Scooby-Doo remained, a solitary figure surrounded by the shattered remnant of his shattered dreams, forever cursed to recreate his universe, doomed to watch helplessly as his friends die and slip further into the abyss of his creation. For Scooby-Doo, the pursuit of perfection had become his greatest tragedy, a curse that would haunt him until the end of time itself. Death was a foreign concept to him. He would exist forever. And so, in the void of his solitude, the echoes of his laughter mingled with the tears of his eternal sorrow, a testament to the unfathomable depths of his cursed existence. The immortal had become mortal by feeling what he had lost.